everybody everybody it's me I'm back again I am doing this month's scent of the month and it is by nature's garden and it is sweet pea and vanilla so I'm gonna be doing the base of it no color and then the top I'm gonna to add a little bit of titanium but oxide sorry a little bit of fragrance a very tiny bit because this does this color because of the vanilla and some titanium dioxide my recipe is um, Avocado oil, castor, olive oil, sunflower, um, coconut oil, shea butter, and uh, cocoa butter. I do have sodium lactate within the lye water as well as silk. So let's get started with that. Everything's a little bit warmer than usual, but I've had a few uh, bloopers today. Let's leave it at that. Okay. So I won't be surprised if this one's a blooper. This one's supposed to thin the trace but then move quickly shortly after so which is okay in this case because I do need it thick for cupcakes. I am going to upload the very big blooper video that I did um, so you guys can see piping and my big blooper what it was if you have if it's not already updated uploaded. Alright, so got quite a bit of bubbles sitting on the top of my soap. I'm just gonna mix this to emulsification so I can separate my batter batter out easier. Okay, turn down your volume peoples. <laughs> there goes my phone. Sorry about that guys. There we go. Oh. Oh. All right, let's just blend it a little bit. Almost emulsified, but I'm going to add my super fats, which is my cocoa butter and my shea butter. I am just making six cupcakes at this time. Oh. Is it three o'clock? Can you turn the guide on for me? <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm watching TV at the same time. Go up, like to the lower channels. Stop at 293. All right, so let's bring this to emulsification. Thanks, hi. All right, so that's emulsified. Measure up the bases now. Which is four hundred grams. All the bubbles. Oops. A little bit too much. topping and put it aside. So some white and this is very fruity. I don't really catch the vanilla. It's just really floral and fruity to me. And the rest, let me go a bit more. The rest is going to go into the base. Maybe I'll make the 
this a little bit brighter. Let's thin out the trays and it's starting to go yellow. It's supposed to go to a tan color, I believe. It's pretty cool. It's not really fall, but my fall scent of the month didn't pan out. But definitely just colors. It's gone yellow. So I wonder how dark it really is going to get. But I'm at a light trace. I don't smell the vanilla, but the sweet pea is very, very pretty. It smells like sweet pea. I just don't get the vanilla. So I've just put my cupcake bases in a tray so it's easier to move around. trying. So let's see how 
this is doing. And I have a feeling we're going to be waiting a while for this, guys. I'm just going to give it another few blends with the blender. I'll put you on hold. I'm going to wait. I think this is going to be a good wait, maybe 15 minutes. We'll come back because it's quite thin for the piping. All right, but I'll just do another quick blend. But it's a good fragrance to work with. It will give you plenty of time to do whatever it is that you want to do because these aren't very set up and neither is this. Like this is just at a light trace. Light to medium. to set up and I will see you all in the next clip. Okay I'm back guys I'm gonna pipe the top that took about 20 minutes <laughs> you know, 25 minutes to get stiff and it's like every time I stir it it loosens but I think I'm to the point where I can pipe successfully now. I have a 1M size tip in my frosting bag. I can feel the heat coming from this now. So I'll do that much and then I'll come back in. Center. This is getting more creamier in color. straight up and down. I'm just squeezing. I'm just going in small circles. That's fairly tall. This has really gotten yellow. But hopefully it doesn't turn too dark. If not, lesson learned. And I'm holding it slower so I can get more of a ripple effect. The faster you go, you would have as much of a ripple effect. Oops, I got a pocket. My TV went off. That was weird.
the bigger piping bags, but I don't feel that I can oops, hold them. That's why I use the smaller ones, but it would be less work than having to refill my piping bag. However, I do have more than one of a 1M tip, so I can always fill two piping bags up. Gloves are slippery. Air pocket. <laughs> These are from Coastal Scents. And they've lasted me a very long time. I've only bought glitter, I think, twice. The first time I brought, I bought samples, and the second time I bought full size of certain colors. But I think I don't use most of the colors, so. I tend to use the iridescent mostly. It's a very fine glitter, that's fine. Uh, All right, and you the air glass paint. These are um, royal icing flowers that I made and I put 
a plastic diamond gem in the center because at the time I couldn't find my candy pearls, but I figured that the, um, the diamond gem worked out just fine. These were really simple to make, although my raw icing wasn't quite the right consistency when I made it. So, if you guys would like me to show you how I made them, just leave a um, comment below and I'll try and upload a video because I can do more colors. The great thing is now I have tons of these that I could um, use for other projects. Um, but I had made too much icing as a problem. All right, so let's, I I have another, yep. I'm gonna pipe the balance in here. This confusion of a cupcake will be for me. And I'll put one of my practice ones on here. So I even had a bag of not so great ones. Alright, so let's do this in a way where Alright, so this is sweet pea and vanilla cupcakes, scent of the month. If I'm lucky, it will be for October. But I will be doing another autumn soap. Probably in the next few days. Alright guys, rate, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what y'all think. And any suggestions that you might have that you'd like to see at my web shop when I do open up. Bye. Oops. Hi everyone, back again. Came to um let me move this back a little bit. Came to unmold the cupcake soaps. I hope you guys can see. It is nighttime, and I don't. I can't get any more light in here. Um, so as per my previous video, I am in pajamas. I just came home from work, had my shower, and I wanted to unmold my soaps. So this is. I already unmolded one actually this morning because I couldn't wait, and it was ready. This is the scent of the month. This is sweet pea and vanilla. And to be honest, guys, I don't smell the vanilla. But as you can see, the base is kind of tanned up a bit. And that's the top with the little pink um, sugar flower with the rhinestone, not rhinestone, um, I guess plastic stud diamond or whatever you want to call it. It's got pink, gold, and iridescent glitter on it. And it smells like the sweet pea, the Bath and Body Works sweet pea. Very sweet, floral, with a little bit of berry. But I really honestly don't smell the vanilla. Actually, let me get a piece of paper towel. And I put sodium lactate in this to help unmold with the unmolding and to harden the bar. The cupcakes makes it. Oh no! Oh, one of my things came off. I'm gonna have to get a little bit of um, melt and pour. Put it there. 
but you see how easy that just came off? Oh, it's holding it too high, sorry guys. And the trick to getting the defined, um, the defined ribbon effect of the, um, the piping is by leaving your icing to get super thick, your icing, your silk batter to get super thick. I think this looks so cute and so girly. I haven't done a cute girly soap like this in a long time. Oh no, I lost another one. So I'm gonna have to reinforce these with a little bit of melt and pour. Or when I pipe my um, other batter, I'll put a little bit of um, cold process there because I don't want melt and pour, really. That's that one. There's only six available. I have no more of this fragrance, so there will only be six available. And they'll be available in about four weeks, four to six weeks time, end of September, early October. They smell really pretty. For a floral, I'm not big of a floral person. This one's nice, but I've always liked Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea is a nice fragrance to me. These are unmolding beautifully. The bottom is a little tiny bit soft, but not bad. But look how defined that is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't know if my computer is picking up the glitter and the sparkle. There's glitter and sparkle in the flowers as well. Absolutely cute. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, it's adorable. So this little tray worked out great. I guess I'll be able to carry them around in there. All right, so once again, these are the Sweet Pea Scent of the Month cupcakes. There's only six available. Um, I have my scale, so I can tell you the approximate weight of one of these. I'm quite sure they weigh more than my actual bars. This looks like the smallest one here, so I'm going to weigh this one. Which, of course, is the one that this... Okay, so it is 160 grams or 5.6 ounces. And that's the smallest one. Let's see. That's 5.9. Five point nine, pretty good for hand piping. Five point eight, not bad, Cheryl. These are the two bigger ones, it seems like. Whoa, six point four five. And this one, six point four. So for someone that was piping this by hand, not bad. With this being the smallest one, so I will list these up when I open as a scent of the month. Get yours while you can, because these are it. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, and toodles.